So guys, today you're back for another video on the channel today. I'm going to do the match review for the Newcastle United vs Wolves game. If you want to go and check out the vlog, it'll be a link in the description. Uh, absolute scenes. Uh, a good vlog, but I am really devastated. Uh, I thought I played really, really well. We give Wolves a good game, considering how much money they spent. They spent how much money that summer? And we had now to spend, and we bossed them. I would actually no, we didn't bust them. But you give them a really, really good game, and if you do, oh, I'm going to be talking about the game. Uh, for my eyes, I haven't watched any highlights back. I've watched it just from uh, from when I went to the game. I'm recording it about an hour since I've got back, so I'm still really, really stressed and annoyed about it. But we'll start off with the stats. So the stats. Uh, I'll talk about the stats and then I'll go on to the back, uh, talk about the game. So we had 51% possession, Wolves had 49%. We had 12 shots, they had 13 shots. We had 4 on target, they had 6 on target. We had 4 corners, they had 6 corners. And they did a lot more fouls than us it says. But uh, I thought we played really, really well. And the stats show it was an even game and a draw, I would have took a draw. I really would. A draw would have sent us back up to 14th, but sitting in 15th and we're behind Cardiff. It is really 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 devastating because we played well and we're going to be starting off right but before I start, about, start off by talking about the game uh, the referee today wasn't great Mike Dean uh, I'm not really a fan of him I think he's a bit pity and so I haven't watched any highlights but I'm not going to say this that the other I haven't watched any highlights back but yeah so let's start off by talking about the game uh, we started off I would say okay, we had a chance in the first 30 seconds, that has signs obviously, but we're starting to have a lot more chances, their midfield was really really good, and their goal was good. The little run back from Herder Costa, whip ball in, and Jamal Lascelles was shocking. He gets the ball down, he chests it, and then shoots, I thought he would head it the first time, but what was Jamal Lascelles doing? He left his man, he's meant to be the captain, and he leaves his man like that. It's not good. And then we get a free kick on the edge of the box. I'm thinking, ooh, Key's going to be on this. But Rondon took a free kick versus West Ham and he took that one and it looked in. But uh, when I was at the game, after we scored, uh, I looked at the goal to see if the free kick did go in and I couldn't tell because the keeper was like over the. Like, I couldn't see because of the keeper on like die who when he dived. So Rondon hits the ball for free kick, it looks like it goes in, I'm not saying if it did go in or not. And then we keep our heads together, which is good, because if we didn't, we screaming at the referee saying it went in, they would have been on the counter attack and maybe had a chance to score. And Rondon actually whipped the ball in, and Iosi Peppers was there. I don't understand how he's winning so many headers when he's like one of the smallest in the team. Uh, should be the opposite way around, Peppers whipping the ball in, Rondon getting the header, but... We score, happy days, we're all celebrating, we're all happy and it's a lot better. And but still get chances, they get chances and the second half where I can do a lot more talking. So second half starts, we have to bring on Manku for uh Federico Fernandez. I'll get on to the player ratings when I've finished talking about the match, but he comes on and I'm thinking are you taking the mic? We've got to play now Yedlin and centre back because we're playing five to the back. We haven't got a proper left wing back. We've got Richie there since Kennedy wasn't fully fit and Richie had a good game to be fair. So the red card. <clears throat> I don't know if it's a red card or not. Uh, to be fair, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I think I was like, doing something with my shoe or something like that. But I looked up and I, I seen it as he was going down. So. I seen a couple of pictures and it a bit soft, but you can see it in red. Lascelles would have probably won the ball, and that's why I think he's given the free kick. But it wasn't last man because there was two defenders uh, behind the Adelaide, and it wasn't from behind. I don't know. Leave your comments in down below what you think of the red card, and I'm just gonna go on until they score. They collect the ball in the halfway line. Not one person tackles him. I think it's Diago Jutta. He runs all the way to the edge of the box. Not one person has tackled him. 
Man Q literally stands, like literally right, he literally stands there and watches him run past him. What are you doing mate? You've got to get into him. There's one minute left, you can't let him through. He literally does this. Like you think I'm joking and the Van Gaal makes a fantastic save and then my dog, he's there for the rebound and it was absolute scenes. The Wolves fans were going absolutely mad. Any Wolves fans watching this or seeing the vlog or whatever, any Wolves fans watching this video, uh, fair play. Absolute fair play. Yeah, but fans were super, super, superb today <laughs> and you've got really, really good fans and I hope for the best in the future for you. But I'm going to talk about the player ratings. If I'm a, uh, obviously, I've got in about an hour ago, so I'm still absolutely devastated, obviously. But I'm going to be bit more vanity and stuff but let's get on to the player ratings. So we start off with Martin de Vavka, who had a decent game to be fair. He made a really crucial save. I think it was by it was by Doherty who scored and the ball got played on the edge of the box and he smashed that. It was a fantastic save from Devavka. I'm gonna give him a seven six actually I'm gonna give him a six because I thought he was releasing the ball far too late and he wasn't he, obviously no one's gonna get high ratings, a lot dead dead high ratings like how the Burnley games have went to. Jamal Lascelles, I'm going to give him a four. I think he was shocking. Like, I thought it was really, really bad. I'm only giving the benefit of doubt because he's the captain and it could just be an off game. He came back from, is it an injury? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, Lascelles came back from an injury, didn't he? And it's not good to say, but he wasn't good enough. Fernandez, who came off to half time, he was solid. I'm going to give him a seven. I haven't got really much to say because. He was really, really good, but he only played 45 minutes of football. Kevin Clark, the best defender on the pitch for us. I'll give him a seven. He went for every tackle, he went for every header, and he tried really, really well. And I was a bit like, oh, man. I wanted to see four at the back a little bit more attacking, maybe. But he had a good game, and I think, I don't know if he's going to play five at the back first in Huddersfield. I'll have to wait and see. DeAndre Edler now. What can I say, to be fair? <sighs> he wasn't great, but I've got a mark him low for getting a red card. I'm going to give him a three. Uh, it, it was disappointing because getting a red card in that game basically gave them a lot more confidence going forward to get their goal. Uh, it seems yeah that we only did play four at the back, but we definitely did play five. Uh, Matt Ritchie. I thought he was uh, not excellent, but he was really, really good today. He went for every ball, he tried, he went for everything. And as a left wing back, that's your job and you've done really, really well. Richie, I'll give him a seven. Uh, going on to the two midfielders, uh, Diame. I thought Diame was clumsy sometimes, but always say this. He can put a great tackle in, but we need to see. K and Shelby together. If we do that against Huddersfield and it doesn't work, we know that we need that defensive midfielder like Diame or someone in January if we can sign someone. And Diame was okay, I'm gonna give him a five. K Sung Young, he got a yellow card, which I can't even remember. <clears throat> oh, it was at the start of the game, I can't even remember what happened to be fair, but uh, K, it wasn't his greatest game, uh, he was a bit quiet and some sections and stuff, but uh, if I've, I wouldn't say he was the worst player on the pitch, definitely not, but I'll give him a six, maybe, yeah, give him a six. Going on to Christian Atu now, who was very positive. He really was, he wanted to win the ball, he wanted to actually drive the defenders, and we do need that, but he's not good enough in some sections and such like crossing he needs to improve shooting needs to improve he's got the pace i think that would be a lot better bring them on like what he brought kennedy on in the 89th minute do that with that too for the future i'll give that to a seven and uh, now i'm going to perez scored our goal he, it was his best uh, game this season no doubt about it he defended really well he attacked really well he dribbled really really good he Likes to go for the gaps of defenders, and it, and when you see him play the ball to one, then you think of good things. And he was probably the man of the match today. I'm gonna to give him an eight. And finally, Salomon Rondon. Why take? Why bring Hosselu on with five minutes left? Take off, not Rondon. 
you don't take off Von Don. Like, we've learned this now, you shouldn't take off that man. And I, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they scored their goal for a bad touch from Hosselu and they won the ball back. I can't remember, but... Von Don, 7. Uh, got the assist. His free kick was really, really good. And he's such a good player, but we need to see more of him. And there's no point taking him off with... Well, there was 10 minutes left. Don't take him off. It's as simple as that. Substitute man Q. Can you say... I'm not... I'll give him a 2. A 3. A 2. His crossing is terrible. He doesn't defend. He doesn't track back. And they knew... As soon as he came on, he would leave gaps around the left-hand side. And then they just played balls, throw, 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 constantly, and got goals. And ah, I got a goal. And it came from the left-hand side where Mankio is not even watching. I'll, I'll give him a two. Uh, Hosselu, I can't really say. Well, a two as well, actually. His touching was terrible. Rondon was absolutely world class compared to Hosselu. And then Kennedy came on. He didn't he didn't do anything. Like as simple as I give him a five. He didn't do really anything. But uh Well done the balls, congratulations on the win, but uh thanks for watching the video. It wouldn't mean a lot if you could hit the subscribe button and move on to Huddersfield, you'll see a lot more videos uh on the Huddersfield game. Thanks for watching the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching, goodbye.